a five times all-star who had to buy his own jersey at the gift shop? What? Coming up. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me as always. My name is Troy Rudder, AKA TTM Troy, and I'm so glad you're joining me today. If you're new to the channel, or even if you are an old timer, I've been doing this at least since 2012 uh, here on YouTube. I know there's a few people doing it who have been here longer, and I, I've been going pretty much nonstop since 2012 with a, a couple few week hiatuses here and there, but Man, it has been an incredible ride, and I am so glad that you have stayed here with me. There's a, I know there's a lot of old-timers here that say, Get off my lawn! I've been on YouTube more! I'm like, yeah, you have. So, thank you, all you people who uh, <laughs> are still subscribed. Even if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. You can hit the subscribe button down below and maybe... You can get notified when I do new videos. That would be cool. But hey, I got four autographs for you today. And here, why don't we just jump right into it, okay? All right, here we go. Boom. All right, first we have Sid Bream. He signed one of one, and I am not sure how many days, unfortunately. I do not have any record of sending this card. And he usually charges money. So I I honestly don't know, but I'll take it because it is for the set. You can see the address for him right there. Now, he played from 1983 to 1994 for the Dodgers, the Pirates, the Braves, and the Astros, and ended his career with a batting average of .264 with 90 home runs and 455 RBIs. Now, Sid was drafted in the second round by the Dodgers, and he is best known, I guess this is a good way to be known, I guess, for avoiding the tag of Mike Lavalier in Game 7 of the 1992 NLCS to send the Braves to their second World Series in a row. Now that is quite a mouthful, but I am sure that all the Braves fans remember him for that play. So there you go. <laughs> Mr. Sid Bream. Next we have Dave Rosello. He signed 1-1 one -on -one in 119 days via his home in Florida. Now, the address for Dave Rosello is on Star Tiger. Now, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been here for a while, you know that unless the uh, if the address is not available on a public address site, I do direct you to the subscription site where I got the address from. There you go. That just kind of uh, um, plays fair all around, I guess. <laughs> now, Dave played from 1982 to 1991 for the Cubs and the Indians, and there's really not much about him on Wikipedia other than having a batting average of 236 with 10 home runs and 76 RBIs. So that is all I know about Dave Rosello. <laughs> there you go. Rosello. That kind of rhymes. <laughs> Next we have Lou Whitaker. He signed one of one in eight days, only eight days being his home in North Carolina. You can see the address for Lou Whitaker right there. Very cool. Now, he played from 1977 to 1995 for the Tigers, and he is a five times All Star, a 1984 World Series champion, American League Rookie of the Year, three times Golden Glove winner, four times Silver Slugger. And he ended his career with a 276 average with 244 home runs, 2,369 hits, and 1,084 RBIs. Now, Lou is the one I talked about in the intro to this video. Apparently, at the 1985 All-Star Game, he forgot his jersey, either at his hotel or at his home. I don't know where he was, but he forgot his jersey. So he actually had to go and buy a jersey at the gift shop. And that jersey is now in the Smithsonian. Now, I heard about this on Wikipedia, and as you know, Everything you read on the internet is true, so I put full stock in that story, and uh, that's all there is to it. So there you go, Lou Whitaker. Next we have Roddy Reed. He signed one of one in 227 days via National Spring Training. You can see the address right there, but obviously uh, I don't know if he is going to be on the team this year. Uh, he, he played in for the Nationals in 2017 and 2019, 
and but he did not play at all in 2018 due to a suspicion of uh, well, not a suspicion. He was suspended for uh, performance enhancing drugs. So it was a 80 game suspension. Even though he says he did not take them, uh, he did serve out the suspension and came back last year. So there you go, Mr. Roddy Reed. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of TTMAutographs.com's recap or whatever it is I call this. Hope everybody has had a good week. I'm trying to get back on the schedule of uploading every Wednesday. So hopefully uh, that will continue to be the case for a while, uh, at least until things get slow. Uh, I, I, I anticipate things getting slow probably in March or April just because that is when I'll, I'll be sending out more things. I haven't really sent out anything since October, so I'm still getting things in that I've uh, sent out throughout the rest of the year. So let's let's keep hoping for those giant mail days, right? Um, and as I'm always fond of saying, let's just go with the flow here. As I'm always fond of saying, may your mailboxes be full and your stamps forever. Bye-bye. Oh,